Okay, welcome back for our learning session for today. Today we're gonna talk about how to make great looking thumbnails for your videos and post uh, images on social media. I have a quick tutorial here on how we do it sometimes here and also how you can do it at home. It's very simple, uh, it's really easy to do and it won't take me long. This was taught to me by Guy Kawasaki actually, who we had on the show, um, some of you may remember, last year. And he is the evangelist for a product called Canva. Canva is basically Photoshop Lite. It's a super simple online Photoshop that is free and very, very, very easy to use. So let me show you where that is. And, and that's basically what this is gonna be, a quick tutorial on how to use Canva to design thumbnails. Everybody needs a good thumbnail for either your, you know, when you upload a video to YouTube or when you have a live stream or you're promoting something on social media. And I really haven't found much of an easier way to create these on the fly than using Canva's platform. Uh, it really has been uh, kind of a godsend for us. And so uh, if you need to know how to find Canva, it's really simple. You go to canva.com. If I can type that in right. So canva.com will take you here. Um, I'm gonna actually sign out so you can see what the main page looks here for. So uh, it's very easy to sign up. You can use Facebook, you can use Google, your Google account, or you can sign up with your own personal email. It's free. Uh, and most of the content and tools on the site are totally available to use for free. You can pay for some uh, additional features, some additional stock footage, but in order to do what I'm showing you now, totally possible to do with just the free version. In fact, that's what I will do. So I'm going to log in. All right. So I can also just, you know, save my password, I suppose. All right. So this is sort of Canva. If you've never signed up for it before, it will take you through a really straightforward tutorial, which I do recommend. It doesn't take long. I haven't really found a better onboarding tutorial than the one at Canva. I mean, they do a brilliant job of bringing you from a new user, just signing up, just starting into designing your first graphic. It's really easy to do. But uh, so I recommend you go through that if you haven't had any experience, but I'm going to show you quickly uh, why Canva is so useful. So the number one thing you'll notice is that right at the top here in your account, you are, you know, you'll, you have this create a design button and that's going to take you to this, you know, this page where you'll see they have all these templates that you can choose from. Uh, so we have things like social media, popular design types at the top, things people are using this most frequently for. So social media posts, uh, square one by one, that's great for Twitter, uh, for Instagram. Uh, it's in the aspect ratio that you want. You've got presentations like slideshows, uh, posters, Facebook posts, like they have specific to the social media platform and already have the correct dimensions and aspect ratios uh, that those platforms like. So you can see Twitter, 1024 by 512, uh, social media, which is general, but works on Facebook, works on Twitter, works on Instagram at 800 by 800. Uh, you've got Pinterest, Facebook posts specifically, Facebook app posts. It just goes on. Uh, this is the quickest way to quickly design the image that you want. So um, I recommend if you are going to create a thumbnail, it's useful to design a couple versions of it in different aspect ratios. Uh, we like to do a 16 by 9 because all of our video, like you're seeing now, is in 16 by 9. We like to do a, a, a 2 to 1, uh, 2 to 1, I think. Yeah, two to one or one to two, and then a one to one. So basically a square one, uh, a slightly more rectangular one, and then the 16 by nine one. And that that kind of covers all the areas where we would post that image. And if we're really on top of it, we do all three. Um, it's gonna be up to you and your ability there. So, uh, But just to start, rather than just click on social media or the Facebook post or anything, just start with your 16 by nine one. And you can find that actually kind of hidden here under the presentation. So if you click on presentation, 16 by nine, the one at the top, I believe is not, by the way, this is not a 16 by nine. This is a 1024 by 768. It's more of like a four by three. Uh, that's not what you want. You want the 16 by nine presentation. So that's my little tip here. I used this one to design some of our thumbnails. I just click on the 16 by nine presentation that uploads all of their default templates. And this is really where Canva can save you a ton of time. Uh, you can go into here and just pick a design that looks 
good to you? Like what would a thumbnail, if you were going to make a new live show, you're having a new topic come out and you wanted a thumbnail for your YouTube video or for your live show, what would it look like to you? So you pick one that you kind of like and pick one that's free. They have free ones. They also have ones that you can pay for if you really like the way that looks. Uh, and they have all different kinds of styles here. So really recommend um, whatever works for you. So for today, um, we talked about the keys to successful storytelling. Um, you might use like something like this, like a compelling image, you know, of like, well, there's clearly some sort of story going on in the background, right? Uh, so you could change the, the font and really just go with this, right? Um, Wirecast Live. Keys to successful. Right, keys to successful storytelling. And we'll just drag that on the edge there to make it fit. Uh, if for some reason this doesn't work for you, if it's not a good um, you know, font or color or size, all of this is of course customizable. So you can head up and and see their fonts here, uh, recommend what they would recommend or try out different ones uh, and see what you like. So you can see that they also have Railway as another suggested one. We can do Alert a Stencil, right? And we can change the color. They have a palette almost already selected for you of sort of a default palette, but you can add your own special colors there if you want. Um, and so, you know, if we just go with a white, something like that, um, you've got options there. We can also look at, um, you know, and this is where um, if you want to add other elements, they are recommending that. So then you can add, say, your own photos. If you have like, if let's say you want to upload, say, Wirecast or Wirecast Live in my sense, so I might head over to my pictures folder. I might upload a Wirecast image. And it'll take a moment to update. But once it's done, it's pretty much there, ready to use. And I it pops right into my library. And this library is ongoing. So anything you upload to it will be available to you if you use it over and over and over again. So if you happen to use the same logo or your branding frequently, uh, it'll always be there for you in any design you happen to be working on. Super useful. Uh, you know, other images I might use are like the word mark, like Telestream Wirecast there. Uh, once it's in there, you can move it in. You've got opacity controls. And so I might click the opacity or the transparency slider. And I might, oh, I don't know, this design may not be the award winning or anything here. Uh, so I might do grab this in the corner and drag this over. Notice this is um, not the keys to successful design. Uh, I have to bumble my way through this sometimes. Okay, so uh, that's just like a rough one. You can also, what I like to do sometimes is I like to throw on filters to make things look cool. So uh, if I want like an epic effect, I might add that to the Wirecast one, right? Uh, maybe I would use the Kali effect. That's a good sort of washed out filter. That's a little much there. Uh, I think I like epic better. And then I can choose how epic. I want by using the sliders, right? And um, you can adjust that more if you like. They have a bunch of filters to choose from. It's a quick way to quickly run through what you have available to you. Uh, another good one might be a washed out summary feel. So you can kind of mess with filters uh, again. It's a quick way to add almost like Instagram level filters for your, your look. Um, I might consider, I don't think at this point, if, um, if you're liking the way it's looking or you need to change things, you can also duplicate it. 
uh, and everything you do is almost automatically saved. So um, I, I can recommend, you know, you can, you don't necessarily need to go up to file and save. It usually tells you when it's, when the last one was saved. Uh, sometimes you may need to do that, but hopefully frequently you won't need to. Uh, this is, they're pretty good in terms of how quickly they can react to things. Other things you can do is you can change backgrounds. They've got a bunch of free backgrounds as well as paid ones. They're only usually a dollar if there's one that you like. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Uh, so I recommend that. They also have great headings and subheadings. Um, you might add a date and a time. Uh, so you know, we might throw that guy in there. Actually, I think I just added two of those. I'm gonna delete one. And Actually, I probably just start with Thursdays, 2.30 p.m., right? So that's what we say on our live show every, you know, it's the time and the place. Again, this might be worth thrown in the corner there. Maybe I would choose a different color for the background for this guy. If I didn't like the color arrangement of the white, I might want like that gray or sort of greenish teal. I'm not really sure what color that is. <laughs> um, and then uh, if you, I'm sorry, delete that. And then you might again head up to the opacity slider. And just fade that a little bit. Uh, so you can spend as much time as you like on this, but you can see how quickly I've already thrown together a great sort of advertisement or thumbnail for this thing. And it didn't take me long at all. Uh, so I highly recommend checking that out. Uh, Canva is going to be great. When you're done, you can share it with people. You can download a copy and it will you know, give you the formats that you may want from JPEG to PNG. Uh, you know, PNG or JPEG are great. They work just fine. You can download them. It will export and save your design. And of course, you can make as many variations of it as you like. If you want to go up and duplicate it and change and make a new layout, I'll show you that real fast. Uh, and then you've got your thumbnail, which is ready for use in your, you know, publication. So now it's just downloaded to my download folder. I'm going to open it up. And here it is. Boom. And then you can see I've got a little bit of a filter issue there. Um, so I would you know, mess with this a little bit more. But this looks awesome. And it didn't cost me anything. Uh, and I had it pretty much ready to go using off the shelf elements at Canva. So highly recommend doing this. Um, it's the best way that I've found to do it. Now let's head over to uh, back to our library of designs. And you can see the designs that you have created here. So we can quickly make a copy of it, dive into the copy. It's going to reload the Canva page here. And here I can change the, I can resize, right? So learn more. Um, and there's actually a feature where you can do a magic resize, which is pretty rad. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can change. Hmm. I may need to just duplicate these elements uh, and then copy them. I'm going to copy them, go to file, copy. And then I can go back to Canva here to the main area. And let's say I wanted to make a, I don't know, a square version. And then I can hit paste. And that's going to grab most of this stuff. And I can work these into the size I want. Um, so I'm not going to have time to get into that much, but you basically, if you do want to do a magic, uh, it, you know, you might want to pay for the magic resize. Otherwise, you're basically going to have to copy the elements that you used in one project into another at a new size. It doesn't, shouldn't be too difficult. You should be able to totally do that, um, but it's going to take a little bit of a time. But then you've got three versions of your project. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you... Uh, 
quickly create thumbnails um, on Canva for your social media posts, for your live broadcasts, um, for your uploaded YouTube videos. Hope this was helpful and uh, you should check it out. And good luck. I'd love to uh, see some designs that you guys make out there. Please send them to me and uh, or at, at Wirecast or share them on Facebook. Share links to them on Facebook. You can see that on Canva, it's very easy to share these designs. All right, I will see you next week for another episode of Wirecast Live and another learning session. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like what you just saw? Would you like to get more of that, more of Wirecast Live? Well, the best way to find out when we're live or when we've uploaded new videos is to click the subscribe button. I highly recommend it. You can follow us and find out all the latest information on live video, live streaming, and live production techniques. Not only that, we do tend to bring on experts in very different fields. So you'll learn everything from marketing techniques to writing to production to storytelling techniques, anything and everything having to do with live video and live video production. Each week, we will be live on Thursdays at 2.30 p.m., but if for some reason you can't make it or we upload a special episode or a special topic or video, then you'll want to know about it, and the only way to do that is to click to the subscribe button, or you can always come back and check here for the latest information because we're always making new videos.